All right, we are still in 3.8. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, numbers 8 and 9 here. So let's go for it here. Number 8 is already queued up here. It says a company's manufacturer sells DVD. DVDs, here are the equations to use in connection with these business questions here. So we're going to learn a little bit of business stuff here. Get you guys prepped, or all your business majors here prepped with what we're going to do here. All right, so let's go for it here. So number of DVDs sold each day, it would call the n function, n of x, but it's just x. So x is just the number. So we know our variable is just what uh, is the number of DVDs sold. Okay, the selling price, or let's see, selling price for each DVD. So P is, looks like standing for our price. Our price is 6.5 times 0.02x. Okay, daily fixed costs. So this is no matter what we do, if we sell one DVD or a thousand DVDs, we're going to still have to pay $190. And usually in business, what that means is you usually like a, we have a lease on a property and it costs you $190 a day. Var variable costs or manufacturing costs, that is in terms of how much it takes to um, produce a DVD. So it looks like in this particular case, it's two bucks. All right, so let's go with what this says to do here. Let's go for it here. And let me copy this and then we can uh, actually do it on a different little palette. All right, so part A here is the revenue function. What in the world is the revenue function? It is the product, so we're going to be multiplying stuff, the number of DVDs sold each day, and the selling price. So if we want to write that as in terms of an equation here, it'd be the number of DVDs sold each day multiplied by the selling price. So n of x times p of x. So let's go for it here. So in this case, n of x is just x. P of x is 6.5 minus 0.02x. That's cool, okay. So just distribute this in, and we're done. 6.5x minus 0.02x squared. You can write it like that. You can move the uh, 0.02x squared to the front, but usually normally we'll leave it just like that. Okay, so that's part A. Let's take a look at part B. All right, part B here. Now, see the cost. The cost is the sum, so we're going to be adding fixed costs and variable costs. So, again, as a formula definition here, it's going to be the sum of the fixed costs. And the fixed cost for us was one. Uh, let me do it this way here, just so I have was f of x. And then the variable costs were v of x, f for fixed and v for variable. Okay. As given, this was 190, and Vx was 2x. Uh, again, you can leave it just like this, that's fine. You can write it as 2x plus 190, that's fine, whatever. Both of them works just fine, okay? Let's go with uh, part C and D, maybe. All right, part C is profit. Profit, let's write the equation for it again now. So P of X is equal to, let's see, it's the difference. We're gonna be subtracting now, difference of revenue. I think we just made a formula in part A about that. And cost, I think that we just made a formula for that too somewhere. Now let's see, that was part B and it was labeled as C of X. Okay, so now let's go, let's go to part A and part B, and then we'll figure out what we need to plug in. All right, so let's see, revenue, if I look back, I think it's uh, 6.5x minus 0.02x squared, and then the cost function was 190 plus 2x. So I think we can put this together. Let's see, drop the parentheses first. And let's see what we have here. Now this one again, this negative is going to go into here, so minus 190. This be a minus 2x. All right, putting everything together, usually by the highest power of x first. 
So you got some like terms here, looks like. You got this one and this one. So 6.5 minus 2. Looks like it's going to be a positive 4.5. And then you got the constant term, which is the only one here that does not have an x or a variable next to it. So there's that one. Okay, part D, let's go to that then. Next. <clears throat> All right, the average cost. Average cost is the quotient. Now let's go with it here. So average cost, um, cost equation just has a C next to it. This is called hat C or bar C. And it means that it's the quotient, so we're going to be dividing stuff. Quotient of cost, so it's going to be this. And the number of DVDs. Hey, if you go all the way back to the original problem itself, I think we have just the number of DVDs, and that was n of x. So I think we're ready to put this all together here. The cost function was 190 plus 2x, and then the n of x was just x by itself. And so I guess we can just keep it just like that. You can write it either like this, or you can write it like this. So one of those two would be just fine. All right, let's plug it in. All right, since we're back up to the original page here, let's plug stuff in here. So R of X was, uh, or the revenue function was 6.5X minus 0.02X to the second power. So we'll leave that there, save it, and then again preview just the way that's the way I wanted to see it. Okay, cost function was 190 plus, and this one I don't need to put into formula. It's going to be plus 2x. And again, just to make sure, profit function, that's the one we did as well. That was a long one here. So let me enter that one. All right, let me enter that by formula here. So negative 0.02x to the second power, get out of the exponent, uh, plus 4.5x minus 190. All right, save it, preview, just to make sure that's what I want to enter. Yep. And then this one is the fraction here. So again, go to my quotient rule. And it's going to be a fraction on top already. On top, it is 190 plus 2x on the bottom. It's just x by itself. All right, preview that, and that looks okay. All right, now let's see if I did it correctly here. This will be fun to see. Yes, all greens, we're good to go. All right, that is perfectly done.